The gluteus medius muscle is also one of the superficial group of large muscle of the gluteal region. This muscle overlies the gluteus minimus muscle. As you can see, this is the gluteus minimus muscle present under the gluteus medius muscle. Now we came to the origin of the gluteus medius muscle. It originate from the external surface of the ilium between the anterior gluteal line and the posterior gluteal line. This is isolated hip bone. This highlighted green is the ilium part of the hip bone. This is the internal surface of the ilium bone. And this is the external surface of the ilium bone. And on the external surface, this is the interior gluteal line. And this is the posterior gluteal line. And between the interior gluteal line and the posterior gluteal line, on the external surface of the ilium, the gluteus medius muscle originate. After origination, this muscle passes over the hip joint and inserted on the lateral surface of the greater trochanter of the femur bone. As you can see, this is the greater trochanter of the femur bone. And since this is the lateral view, so this is the lateral surface of the greater trochanter where the gluteus medius muscle is inserted. The gluteus medius muscle is innervated by superior gluteal nerve. There are two actions of the gluteus medius muscle. First one is the abduction of the femur at the hip joint. And it makes sense because the gluteus medius muscle passes over the hip joint. And contraction of this muscle will cause abduction of the hip joint. Second one is the medial rotation of the hip joint. And this is the minor function of the gluteus medius muscle. The gluteus medius muscle together with the gluteus minimus muscle help in the stabilization of the pelvis. Both of these muscles is innervated by superior gluteal nerve. When the superior gluteal nerve become damaged, the patient present with positive Trendelenburg sign. In this sign, the patient is asked to stand on one limb. And when the patient stand on the affected limb, the pelvis severely drop over the other limb. So instead of standing straight on one limb, he become curved like this due to pelvic drop. Next, I will discuss the tensor fascia lata. Thank you.